just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grant Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. All units, civilians are in need of assistance following an accident. Location is in the vicinity of Devil's Shelf. Captain. I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site, and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bet. I'm gonna take a closer look. They think the boss can't run things from inside? They don't know what I'm Hey, there he is! Everyone down! Tell me, they're hiding drugs in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. Uh, he's webbing me! You don't mess with the kingpin and live. Get his ass! I can't reach him! Reinforcement! Oh, 
Okay, I came here to web bad guys and quip, and I'm all out of quip. I'm in an ass kicking move. No, 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 no. You're fine. Stay away from his gadget. Never touches the ground. You're gonna have a bad day. Smoke him! Get down here and fight like a man. You understand what private property means? Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out. Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When Spider Cop's on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the Chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard... Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around someday. And now for listener emails. May from Queens writes, You're so full of anger and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know it's from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city. And I want it to be better. What you hear in my voice is love. Nothing but love.
civilians are in need of assistance following an accident. Officers near Devil's Shelf, please report to the scene. People are still trapped. Need to help, fast. You saved my life. Thank you. safe. I should clear out so the professionals can get in. If I ever see Jameson, I'm giving him an air I, I had it covered, but thanks. You rock. An armed mugging was just reported. Need a unit on scene. Officers near Devil's Shelf, please report to the scene. Always nice to stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong in the fundamentals. It's a high-speed car chase, all right. they call organized crime. I'm gonna put you in the ground. That's it, huh? I've had worse commutes.
took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. We've got a 1010 narcotic still in progress. Need a local unit on scene. Officers needed on scene in Clinton. And we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical Parker luck. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity.
All units be advised. Assault reported. Officers needed in the East Village. Keep it off. You want to fight? It's your lucky day. Live by the beatdown, die by the beatdown. Thank you. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. You're enough. Like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. 
Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. I guess we're talking again. Cool. Yes, those guys breaking in don't live there. Ever hear a knocking? Hey, over here! No, over here! I'm Spider-Man! Now I'm confused! I thought I was Spider-Man! And this is why we do not clone! No clones! I can't believe what I'm seeing! So, we're all going to jail. Where I bet you'll be as good at breaking out as you were at breaking in. Use these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Give me the idea to add insulation to my costume. Which saved me. Fist brought all the small timers out of the woodwork. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? 
This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, but she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Even more explosions and a barrage of gunfire coming from inside the building after Spider-Man and the NYPD had moved in, which lasted much longer than police had hoped. However, once things quieted down, it wasn't long before Fisk himself was seen being escorted out of the building, handcuffed and in custody. This marks a big win for police and the first major takedown for Fisk, hoping to end his long... Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. I yeah, never used to make sense. For the other shelter. Demons, huh? This one, Catchy name. I have never had okay, a gotta get writing. See you soon. There's well, always something. that went about as well as I could have hoped. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city.
are not getting five stars. Hold fire. Let's see what Spider-Man can do. Well, that's just rude. Ah! Yes. More crooks? This fight's going viral. Today just got more interesting. Open fire! Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? Narcotic sale reported in progress. Location is south of Houston. Should you be swinging or something? Cool window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Excuse me, pardon me? Hey, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's a woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Beautiful. <laughs> Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? You've that angle. I need to get it straight on. Over. Give me the plan and it won't. Gotcha. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this, and I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? 
sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Nice clear image. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Rodrigo always was a sucker. His boss will be at me. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Gotta catch my train. I don't want to keep the boss up. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've got a following. He'll spot me in the subway. Need to track him from up here. Where is he getting off? Uh, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Is this an express line? Can't let that train out of my sight. End of the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. Practically a kid. My brother's kid. Can't trust him. Anyway, it's done. He's already picking up our city. All right. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I got him. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car.
I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Attention units, we've just received a report of a break-in. Incident is active near Longacre. Over. Wow, you all forgot your keys? Price is coming through. My bad. Well, that's a keeper. Wow. Lights back. Move left. Can you say hi to my kid? Master Peace. algorithm in the suit that can extrapolate where the kidnappers might have gone. My suit's onboard AI can tell me the most likely area where the victim is. Afraid no one would find me. Those are the guys. Get them. Superhero bozos walking sidewalks. That guy earned the beating, Spider-Man. You want one too?
All units, civilians in need of assistance fall car crash. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry, ask him to talk to his dad. No, Norman never listens to Harry. Even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. <laughs> 